Uh, my name is Nathaniel Wakelam. I've been hacking for about as long as I can remember. Computers are pretty cool. Um, I started off uh, at university doing a lot, of, um, a lot of web app testing, then realized that it was a profitable, play, a profitable space to be in. And at that point, I didn't really have the interest in finishing a, finishing a degree. So I figured, start a career. And that's exactly what I've gone and done. What's the first bug I reported? Probably an, um, an LFI on, on Google. Yeah, I reported a local file inclusion on, on a Google acquisition. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of obsessive. Like I, I like the technical challenge, but I also like actually spending you know, a week or two weeks on one bug. I find that to actually be quite exciting. Probably uh, leveraging like um, uh, a lot of subdomain brute forcing techniques that I came up with uh, one of my friends, Shabam Shah, and then uh, d actually d um, develop, developing the tooling around that. So we wrote a tool called Old DNS. We released that, we did a talk on it, um, which was quite cool. Being able to actually see something that you, you thought was a good idea be used by a lot of the people who are actually here tonight is also quite cool. Like that, I, I find that quite exciting. I guess you look for low-hanging fruit, right? Like for me, I, I'm cool to, to do something challenging, but I don't really like a challenge. I'm more interested in where the money is, and that's why you normally look for programs which have uh, open scopes, lots of assets, uh, incompetent developers. All three normally. Yeah, I um I reported a uh, a sword XSS to um one of the private uh, bug bounty programs that runs through Hacker One, and it um it actually fired on a staff member, and then they contacted me directly, and actually um were really happy about it, and they um they paid me out the what they would normally pay out for that bug plus a few thousand dollars extra because they were so glad the bug was found. I like anything with a terminal and it and an internet connection, I'm not really worried about the rest of it. Honestly, like the money's pretty good. It's been nice to see the people around me and how I've been able to actually help people. That's um that's that's nice. It's given me um breathing room to not have to actually go and start a career. Like because to me, I consider this to be something I do in my spare time. Like when I'm not doing this, I just enjoy myself. I've got hobbies. I've got other interests. I read. I'm 21, so I go to bars quite frequently. Uh, music festivals. Raves, gigs, that kind of thing. Um, favorite conference, definitely B sides Canberra, without a doubt. B sides Canberra uh, just started. It's um, run by a guy who's really well known in the um, Australian hacking community, and it's it was um, the first year it ran. People were surprised because it ran like a conference that had been running a lot longer. Oh, talking to you, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, it's all about community, right? At the end of the day, like even though we all might have a laugh and poke fun at each other on the internet, this is one big community and. We've, I think we, we, we all will see that because otherwise we wouldn't be here doing this, eh? I don't know, do, do, do what you want to do. Like, if you want to get into it, start actually breaching assets legally, of course. Start with bug bounty programs. Start looking at how you can actually develop a methodology, develop a way of testing because it's not about, it's not about just walking up to a network and trying to kick holes in, holes in uh, a, a, a door, right? It's... It's more about actually thinking things through and having some kind of methodology that you can actually um, go back to when, you're, when you aren't finding bugs. That's, that's what allows me to succeed anyway.